Hi, I'm Marge Kinney. Welcome, glad you're back. Today we're going to talk about framing. A lot of times I'll see my students come in with a frame and they'll say, look what I got at a garage sale. And all I have to do is just clean up the little liner and, and just paint a little bit on the edges and it'll be great. And I think, uh -huh, yeah, it's going to be real great. So today we're going to talk about what frames are the artists, the real artists using that they show in festivals and that they're using in museums. And while this is current, I hope it stays current because most of the time in the very, very fine galleries, they always revert to gold. And that's what brings a higher price. But we're going to talk about some of the different colors today, okay? Enjoy. Yeah. The most popular frames for small paintings would be a gold one similar to this. It's rather plain. It has a little bit of decor. I personally like the ones that have a, an outward uh, position here and a little outward composition here on the edge. I think that looks so nice in framing a picture. The other one is a black frame and this has both a gold fillet in the middle and it has gold on the edge. Those look very nice. Another very popular one is this one right through here that is mostly black, but it had, the fillet has just a brush gold on it. All right, moving on, there are some artists that like a gallery wrap canvas because they don't want to use any frames. They don't want to be involved with it, so they paint the edges black. The other way to do that is to paint completely around the edge. So that's a very popular way to go. Now here's a gold frame that's a little bit wider. I have used very wide frames, but this happens to be my current preference, is to keep the frame just a little bit smaller, but still very and very nice. It's very contemporary. All right, one of the next frames that I'm gonna show you is very popular right now because a lot of the young younger generation and the baby boomers want to have contemporary frames and they don't want to have so much of a frame as have a simple style. So this is called a floater frame and a floater frame has a half inch of airspace between the actual picture and the edge. Now this is a black frame on the edge and it goes a little over an inch in depth. Um, the, the topping to that is black or is gold. Now here's one that is the same type of floater frame. It has this quarter to half inch uh, space. However, the entire edge is black. And both of them are very, very successful in festivals. And people really like these. The other thing you can do with these is um, put an additional frame on it. If you want to frame out one and two frames, because I'm sure we'll enter a, a period where over framing is going to become very popular again. So this can work in that regard where you can have a floater and attach it to more frames on the outside. The final frame I'd like to show you is one that has not only a gold fillet, but this has a white linen liner as well as the gold edge. Now, those can be very beautiful. The problem that I have with them is that the white tends to get dirty, and when I'm moving in and out of festivals, it can be more damaged more quickly. So I prefer to have no linen and have wood all the way through to the end. Well, I hope that that helps you. So that's my story on frames today. I hope you really concentrate on frames before you do any exhibit or festivals. It's going to help you to jury in a lot more successfully. Thanks for joining me and I look forward to seeing you on part two which we're going to talk about in how to attach the picture to the frame. See you soon.